guys, it's your boy Rocco the Rage here, and today we are starting the first episode of our best NCAA basketball university squad. So this is basically a certain university and what NBA players they have created or what NBA players, have, uh, what colleges they played for. So basically, this is the UCLA Bruin team. So at one point, this, this is where they played their college basketball. All of these players, they played at UCLA, which has won the most NCAA titles in um, but in history, but hasn't won one in over 20, in nearly 20 years, actually. So be it they are very good before uh, back in uh, back in the day but not so much anymore despite the talent they have created it's kind of surprising but yeah let's start off at the point Russell Westbrook arguably a MVP candidate this man is a slashing mid-range boots and then you got Gail Goodridge of the Los Angeles Lakers back in the Lakers glory days. They didn't like that anymore. Uh, you don't see celebrities anymore. Set us all. I did see Will Ferrell promoting a film. They don't go there for fun, to be honest. And then you got my main man from Houston, Trevor Ariza, the freezer. Mate, this guy's a great lights out shooter. Good. Uh, like, you gotta have a shooter in your team who will splash buckets in every day. Good three point shooter. Deadly and can defend. Quite well, is quite well also. So then you got your man K Love. Oh, this man is deadly. Got boards, got three pointers, got the post game, but he's not much of a defender. So you got to watch out for that. But but just but in case you don't, this man Mark Eaton, seven foot four, best blocker of all times. This man averaged five and a half blocks a game. Not said. And then Drew Holiday. He's a sharp shooting point guard so he's like the polar opposite of Russell Westbrook doesn't attack the basket as much but he can do it but um uh, for a man of his size and his strength I would prefer to have him uh, take the uh, to take him have a jump shot then you got the former beast former MVP Bill Walton quick trivia he was the last MVP or NBA MVP to be born on the western side of the United States that is crazy. That was 1978. Everyone else was born on the eastern side. Nearly everyone was born on the eastern seaboard. Like, only LeBron James, um, maybe even Kevin Garnett. Um, uh, you can count Timmy D because he was born on the Virgin Islands. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a strange fact if you wanted to know that. Then you got Darren Collinson, very similar to Drew Holiday. More all-rounded than, uh, than Drew Collinson, but he's a lot quicker and he is deadly. Then Jamal Wilkes, this guy was very undersized at a 190. He's a mid-range beast, obviously, but his lack of his lack of size is annoying and his jump shot's a bit larry. But then you got your main man, Zach Levine. Oh, he is deadly. Well, deadly doesn't describe him. He is beast mode. His dunks are crazy. He can he pulled that space jam off um, dunk on Saturday night. He was deadly then. Aaron Afalo, deadly sharpshooter, but had a great season in Orlando. I love this guy. Quite a lot. Quite a good fun. Quite a fun player to play with. He splashes in everything. Then you got Lucius Allen. What is that beard or mustache and fro combination? I don't know, but it, it might, it might, he must have wanted to be good back in the day. Not anymore. But then to cap off the team, we got your boy Shabazz Mohammed. He's a good player. Got the Emerald version, obviously. Good all round shooter. So, yeah, this is the team, and we'll be going into the gameplay right about now. So, I'll be right back, guys. Yes, guys, here is the gameplay of the UCLA team, and I'm not joking, it's a great team. It's a lot of fun. Write down in the comments the next college I should do. I'm probably looking to do Kentucky, Duke, Yukon, but... I felt a need to interrupt myself there with that whatever that was that crazy paul george s uh, three pointer but yeah you got people like russell westbrook he's a he's a good player on this game a good player in real life a solid mvp candidate but he ain't mvp anywhere else especially the way he dresses bruh, bruh. he wears stuff like that he turns up to interview in meme costumes and weird clothes like that like come on but 
If he performs on the game, I'm not too bothered. Actually, no, I am really bothered. I don't, I don't like Russell Westbrook. Everyone I know who uh, who's a fr is a fan of basketball, they got problems with West Russell Westbrook. So does the rest of the league. Like, if you're not an OKC fan, you, just, you got problems with him as a person. Him, him and his game is he's a good. He's got a good game, but. As a person, he, he's awful. A player that was a big surprise, uh, obviously not Zach Levine, he ain't no surprise when you can do stuff like that, when your knees are... Mate, imagine someone came at you like that with their knees six and a half foot in the air. What would you do? Would you just try and block them? I, I have no idea. Imagine getting a knee to the face from Zach Levine and his fucking, like, 50-inch vertical. Yes, he is deadly. That dunk he did... Oh, I know it wasn't as good as that 540 that Victor Oladipo did, but it was still some of those dunks were just crazy. But another, uh, my, my favorite player without a doubt was obviously Gail Goodrich. The man is one of the best combo guards going. Can shoot, pass, not the best defender, but he's still absolutely solid. Good, got good passes to my main man Freezer, who made that amazing, that amazing uh, free pointer at the start, and he's a good on the dunk. Like that, that's something I see from him in real life. Like I've seen him do that play multiple times, and I like that. I like that they're keeping it re that that's that's real. I I like I see that a lot in um in Houston games, and he's a good player because he has this weird automatic step back. Like look at that. I didn't tell him to do that. It just sort of sucked him back, and that's why. Uh, it's so fu fun using Trevor Ariza, and with that 87 three-pointer, he's going to make it every time. But, yeah, uh, it got towards the end of the game, and we were just dominating. There wasn't much to show. I kind of got fouled from the end, from the last fo um, 40 seconds. So that is, um, that is the gameplay. I tried to shorten it out for you guys, because I didn't want to make it too long. So, yeah, remember to sub, guys, uh, because um, I want to get to that 100 sub mark um, quite soon. Not too soon, just want to get there nice and soon. So yeah, I've been your boy Rocket Rager. Please like, subscribe, and in a bit, guys.